<laughs> Have you ever thought about making money to the extent that your generations will not suffer? Your generations to come <laughs> will not even bother to hustle to make money. Why no? Bring your seats. Come and sit down. Let us start this video. Today we are looking at business ideas that can blow you. Number one business idea we are looking at, especially in a Bonny state, is farming. Hey, I happen to I'm I'm making a video about rice production in Abakaliki. It has not come up yet. It's taking a little of my time because I want to capture the stages of development. So I happened to speak with a, some rice farmers in Abakaliki. The first person I spoke with cultivates a very large hectare of land. And the person is telling me that whatever money he invests in the business, he gets times five, depending on how the yields are or what happened that year. Like this year, rice is selling very, very well. Is it not interesting? Among the southeastern states in Nigeria, Abakaliki is also known for farming. So, many people come from other states, come in to buy foodstuffs from Abakaliki because they know that yes, when they get to Abakaliki, they will get what they are looking for. But the foodstuffs here sometimes is not even enough for the people in Abakaliki or sufficient enough for export most times. So, that brings us to importation of foods into Abakaliki. Can you imagine that even with the high rate of farming in this state, a lot of people still import things like rice, yam from the northern part of the country into this place just because in this state, the rate at which you are going to sell it is faster than other states because people know them for food production now when you join the farming business you are sure that the market is here people are buying it here and it's not going to cost you too much to come and start exporting because people are coming into here to to buy and then take it to a, a lot of um, neighboring states around us so number one business idea if you're thinking of any business idea to invest in abakaliki think farming we have rice farming, poultry farming, piggery, fishery. Oh my god. Even the last video I made about the Regina Pasi farm where we buy fishes, you will notice that someone even commented that over there in her state they sell fishes at 600 naira. But right now here in Abakaliki, you can imagine buying one kg of fish at 1,100. Is that not a good rate? So, anything fish, in fact, anything farming will definitely give you a lot of money, you know? <laughs> My number two point is pharmaceutical and then medical equipment you know that uh, a lot there is a teaching hospital and right now currently as i make this video there is an ongoing school of uh, health and uh, medical school and then a state teaching hospital that is going on in uburu and after this after the construction of these hospitals they need equipment they need a lot of equipment and not just to start but subsequently they'll be needing all these medical devices to treat patients to teach students and a lot of things so if you come in right now with this business idea in Ebony you are made number three on my list today is building materials including timber anything that you use in building rods iron rods cement anything building ah that's one <laughs> is a milk industry in Abakaliki. You know why it's a milk industry is that Abakaliki is one of the fastest developing states in Nigeria today and people are building houses almost everywhere is becoming as in cons the type of construction going on in a boy state is very very high so people that are into building industry are making it big time if you come in today in a bony state with your building material business oh my god you're gonna be rewarding me <laughs> my number four point today is hospitality restaurant fast food people go to chop now not be ninja we be we go to chop food people will be eating on kwabi you know so just expect that in a burning state is gonna 
In fact, it's gonna do well because the rate at which people are coming into a bunny now to base because of the development in a bunny, it is at a <laughs> high rate. So just come in today. Make your own different. <laughs> Let there be something unique that other people are not doing that you are doing, you know. Once you put some spices in your own a little bit, you will say your own will try it even better than all others that have been existing before. And when you are making your own, you will be ready for little, little changes that will come in after. And then if you look at the, the situation of the international airports, <laughs> international airport in Ebony State. Yes, so if you look at that very location of Ebony State International Airport, you can build an airport hotel and a lot of things around there. But Kaichere, Kalochaya. But you can actually secure a land right now. Nechezele, Kalocha the thing. Because you know that uh, land in Ebony State is appreciating seriously in a very high pace. So contact me for the land there. My number five point today is distributorship. <laughs> Distributorship is, is uh, that is even the one I'm thinking of going to, to be honest with you. Yes, that's the one I want to enter because there now the milk industry people must to eat you now people must eat food no matter and you can see that the population is increasing so it needs to feed people you know distributorship of drinks food a lot of things you go register direct with the company and there's something i've noticed in airborne stage right now People must go to Enugu to get some kind of food stuffs, maybe like tomato, onion, pepper, for all these fresh fried things. We have to travel to Enugu to get it. And at times, if uh, like this season now when uh, the north doesn't really have enough, we go down to Cameroon, Cameroon outside this country, yes to buy these things so if you can venture into something like this if you have good connect connect <laughs> connect <if> you know. <laughs> if you have good connections and you can just go out buy them and bring them direct into ebony state and let people know that anytime they come at this at this very very ng production <laughs> there is <laughs> they will get tomato every day there ah uh, then you are made it's just that when venturing into such businesses you have to make sure to insure it yes insurance is good just in case there is a perish <laughs> you're not going to be at a loss <laughs> and if you're thinking of insuring any of your goods I'm on board now let us you can also look at because I uh, here agriculture thrives very very well their soil is fertile enough to accommodate a lot of uh, food so you know that chemicals using weeding especially rice farming those uh, chem type of chemicals you can become a distributor of such company in the state and you're going to make it big time chemicals and fertilizers like that yes that's the thing i forgot to chip in <laughs> number six is real estate as in so far in this capital territory it is only two estates i know about so imagine having the third estate if you have the money it will be a very very good thing it's just that that one is capital intensive you know it's people love living in an estate environment like me if i hear in lagos then papa jawe estate it gives it a very unique name if i hear this estate you know uh -huh, let them say i'm living there you know <laughs> i love it people love uh, uh, hearing about uh, estate so that's one we also drive so you can also check it out. Number seven is electronics and supermarkets. Since Robin Store came into a Bony State, I believe he has a lot of testimony. People who like shopping in supermarkets where it will be easier for them to get this, get this, get this, and walk out. Because most times when you go to the market, line three, go line eight, pepe. By the time you walk like that, at times you'll be tired. You might just go home even without buying what you really need. So supermarket is going to do well 
is actually do is actually doing well right now but if you also come in with your own it's gonna try eh? you know, make then people are watching televisions and <laughs> the the thing in the china may, may go lie in a tv tv <laughs> you know that before when you buy television <laughs> those people that we are my age that are my age and above can testify to televisions we use then some of them have not spoiled even until today but the tv they're actually making for us now Omo, I bought a television last year and this year right now I'm thinking of buying another one because that one the ink <laughs> the screen now has a problem so you see things like this even the um, selling the things they use in fixing all those television like the screens and co if you can be importing their parts accessories electronic accessories both phones i'm talking about both phones all these earpiece and a lot of things and if you can come and become a distributor if you're not a distributor you just come in look for a very and sell it you make a hell of money in a boy state because trust me this is one of the fastest developing states in southeast Nigeria. Number eight is mother care and okrika. Hey, all these uh, children's clothes. It sells very well because children, eh, I can buy clothes. You see these clothes? I might wear it for two years until when I want to dash it out to somebody, I will not give it or even burn it. If I don't want to dash it out, maybe it's too bad or throw it away, depending on how I want to dispose it. But children cannot wear clothes for you one year. Every year you must buy different clothes for your children. Yes, because both the ones that are crawling, the knee is becoming so torn, worn out, damaged. And then you, you can see children play a lot. And then the rate at which a bunny state gives birth is high. Because compared to other southeast states, statistically it has one of the highest birth rates. So, Hey, Okrika, on a guy here, ba. Even a mother here, on a guy here. Ha So come in, come in. All these things I'm mentioning. Some of them you can start with low capital, some with high capital. Choose the one that suits the ego, okay, Jenaka. That is the money you have at hand. <laughs> Number nine on my list today is transportation. Hmm. This one, eh? Hey, especially this 911 thing. Hey, oh my god. It's just that such business also have high risk. Oh. There is high risk. But if you go for comprehensive insurance, in a menu risky business with the faith and pride, what do you think? Yes, if you go for comprehensive insurance, you do risky business with contact me for comprehensive insurance. <laughs> So, if you go for comprehensive insurance, you, you can do all this uh, motor business with pride because you know that if anything happens to it, insurance company is going to yes, take charge of it as far as you, you operate within their rules and regulation. Meanwhile, you're going to read it properly before you sign in for it. It's working for a lot of people and it's going to work for you. Especially this 911 business thing. This, uh, people are making it. Some people even put it on high purchase. High purchase, you buy it. You, you can buy it at 4.5 million. I have a friend that is into it and she's making it big time. It's just that it's capital intensive. It's not something you do with small money. Once you buy this uh, 911, like here in a, a bunny state, they, buy, they might just buy it at 4.5 million. They bought one. And when they are putting it on high purchase, they put it at 9 million naira. Now, he have a double ego. Double of the money. Within one year, two years, depending. But the max is two years. That's the timing for the higher purchase. So you, you, the person pays you off. You can use the the interest that you got and buy another one if you want. You double it and get double like that. Within five uh, six years, you are made. You can even use the money and build a house of your own. So the main thing is I'm a kwanomanya business. No ego ego capital. Any dream capital. Mwete capital. If I me me dan go da man fuko na azum akono machanka. <laughs> yes, so my capital na kehi na ko like this. Kehi na si no dizi. Kehi na ko. Obele kenji ma ko na ihe nji gori ame. Na na double ego, na triple ego, na banyero money double never. 
Nalap MMA, my MMA marbles come, whom ye MMA, my dear Messia, because will they go get in any febalulu? Yes, take your money and invest in something that is profitable and you will not regret it. My number 10 point today is fitness and gym. Fitness and gym. Yes, if you can make your own to be classy, unique. You're going to make it because uh, there's no much fitness center in a point state because if i check like me i can pay for it if i check the fact that i am going to go and buy trade meal for 200 000 naira and i can easily pay 10k 15k 20k and then lose this too much weight i have i would definitely pay for it so fitness and gym center is another business idea for you my number 11 is educational materials and education generally like elo school like to build schools and to sell books that they are using <laughs> to sell school books you will make a hell of money in a boy state the people that are doing such businesses are really making it big time it's just for you to learn the business secrets and just go and meet one person, sign an agreement with the person, pay the person little money. Any business you uh, you, you want to venture into in a boy in a state, don't just go into it. Pay the person that is into it to teach you the secrets of the business, you know. You have to, <laughs> you learn the business. Then when you come out with your intellect, you will fly like wildfire. Number 12 is gaming, viewing centers, and then amusement parks <laughs> those ones are basically for recreation you know all these viewing centers where people watch football because some people don't even have money to pay for dstv subscription very high so once you have a gaming center and you <laughs> furnish it very well you can even be selling snacks and drinks in that same gaming center you're going to make it big time in neighboring state this is the end thing here now so that is another business idea for you now my number 13 point is fashion and beauty hey why like a little guy now hey if they don't wear beautiful clothes make up very well those fashion and beauty sell very very well especially where there are females look at my face in the fashion and beauty melenka you know so I bought it from fashion and beauty stores. So if you have a stores like that, hey, <laughs> no custom again, you know. So a lot of people are into it. Me, I'm not even into fashion like that. There are people that can spend money for fashion. A lot of them are in a boring state. So those those ones will be your target. You come in, you do it on a low scale or high scale, and then if you don't even have money to make a very big one you can just go into for those people that have little money learn all this salon make a world-class beauty center i know someone here that does it and she's making big time money there <laughs> you know and then she's making it big time there so there is money there if you learn your job you learn whatever you want to do and do it very well then the last two points i have for you that is going to make my point 15 points are capital intensive when i mean capital intensive these points are for foreign investors i'm looking at the mining business and the water production business hey, let me balance very well and explain that one for you you see the number 14 points the water production businesses i'm looking at a situation companies like nigerian breweries coca-cola bottling company a lot of company they produce their own water by themselves and i happen to serve in uh nigerian breweries when i was in, in 2008 when i was there working within the water treatment plant i sampled their water and run a microbiological test physiochemical test a lot of things on their water samples and then to be sure that it's good enough for production now they produce their own water by themselves where did they get this raw water from direct from the river kaduna the water come into their their, their plants there's a, a channel it passed into the they have a sand filter 
the, in, in that sand feet are a very big um, tank where the water comes into and it passes through a sand filter and this sand purifies the water it moves to the next zone to, before it passes to the chlorination zone and all other zones and when that water comes in when i run physiochemical tests on the water and microbiological tests this water is just perfect so how about somebody that has a very big amount of capital to come into a bony and go into large scale production of water from channel it locate your distance through a bony river even if you can't locate it through a bony river companies like coca-cola that does ever water uses borehole it's just that a bony water has high salt content there should be an extractor, something that will be separating the water and from the salt. And you will still use the salt, make, as in, in that your factory, you will make the, still produce salt with that same, and still produce water. Well, people will drink the water and it will be pure, it will meet the taste. And then the salt, people will, you will still sell the salt to people and make a hell of money. If the, that, that is an idea in my head, oh, I'm thinking in my head because we import water in a bony state. Yes, portable water. And that is because somebody that wants to make a start a low scale water production cannot succeed because this water, Fanambaka has subsidized it. Aquarafa, that's what I'm going to show you a sample of the water letter here or here, any place of water. You see? This water is what we drink in a bony state. And because it's at a subsidized rate, if any water production company should come into a bony state to produce water, the person might not really make it because he cannot be selling water that people are importing and selling at a very cheap rate to people and many people are buying it. But if this large-scale producing company should come in, and uh, he, he, he will clean he will clean the importation of water into a pony and uh, what do you guys think about this point of mind please drop it in the comment section did you understand me did, can you relate with what i'm saying i'm feeling it that is why i kept that point for foreign investors because it's a large scale business that one needs to venture into and make it big time in a bony state then the final point which is the 15th point is the mining the mining industry in ebony they have lead they have salt they have limestone a lot of little little mineral resources are here in ebony state only for you to liars with the government is it federal government or state government i don't know how other people that mine do it but they are making it big time so i really hope that these points of mine <laughs> they you from those 15 points you're able to pick maybe one or two that is going to help you out in you in, in that you're going to venture into it's not only in a boy state even other parts of nigeria look into this my points and, and you will see something that you're going to benefit from don't forget when don't forget when you need land insurance you can also contact me for it <laughs> i can just direct you into people that will help you insure your businesses and insure your lands you know so if you have any contribution to this um or any objection any observation please drop it in the comment section and let us continue this discussion right in the comment section yeah? so to all my new subscribers i say welcome balance and sit down and enjoy the show with me always this is helene's corner <laughs> never we talk health we talk how to we talk entertainment Nadim nene manya, oh yeah, me reno to go and ne anya, anya love. All right, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell and turn on the notification bell beside it so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. All right, guys, and to my returning subscribers, thank you so much. God bless you guys.